waking up with... <laughs> Shivraj Prashad, your host on Good Morning Grandma. Now this show is really all about you. If you hear someone using poor grammar, pronunciation or just enunciating ideas poorly, instead of being rude and correcting them, just turn them over to our Good Morning Grammar experts. Now it's time for Tricky Tuesdays with Pallavi Narayan. Today I want to talk about something which is a little more on the complicated side but once you understand it it's quite simple according to your program which is correct there are plenty of grammatical lapses not just uh, through indianisms but in the regular way we speak i wanted to speak about comparisons today and when we actually talk about ourselves vis-a-vis someone else for example if i say i am not as tall as him what part of him am i not as tall as so it would be more accurate to say i am not as tall as he is because then i am comparing my height to his height and not to him so he doesn't cook as well as her provides the same kind of comparison his ability to cook is being compared with her right now but not her ability to cook so the correct sentence would be he does not cook as well as she does and then the comparison is correct if you actually wanted to be clear you should know exactly what you're comparing and why you are comparing but you are also not making a comparison with the person's character or with the essence of the person or the person completely you are comparing an ability with another ability so mummy doesn't make coffee as well as dad which means mummy's coffee making abilities are being compared with dad but i have to talk about mummy's coffee making abilities in comparison to dad's coffee making abilities hence mummy doesn't make coffee as well as dad does of course no one can repeat this because my parents would absolutely kill me but there you go with accurate grammar the easiest way to get in touch with me is over email at the butterfly effect at icloud.com Till then see you next Tuesday for more tricky words on good, good morning, morning grammar. I hope what you heard was useful, but we'd love to hear from you as well. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your request or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus nine one nine six two five four seven five double four two or via email at shivraj at brevis dot in. We'd be happy to read out your message here or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.